Internal interrogation commencing at 11.30pm. Myself present with Mr James Scott. First hearing. So, James, what happened? You've got the file, haven't you? James Duncan Scott, 27, secret relationship with Helen Cartwright, no criminal history, decent grades at school, and a good engineer at Hammer Tech, until one day, you kill someone. 11.30 is a bit late for a hearing, isn't it? You don't seem to be grasping the severity of the situation you're in. Look, I, I tapped them with my car. They, they fell a bit. They'll be fine. They're, they're not dead. I didn't kill them. How did you know? Did you check? I, d I didn't get a chance. Because you thought they were fine? Or you knew that they weren't? Of course they were fine. What did you do after it happened? Wait, how, how did you know about Helen? Nobody knows about that. Internal affairs. I know more than you'd like. I've, I've not told anyone about her. What would your family think? With, with what? With a second brother in jail. I'm not like Marcus. Oh no. Model student, high prospects, moving to Cambridge soon. And then, one bad day, 25 years at Her Majesty's pleasure. I told you I'm not him. He's always had something up with him. Maybe it runs in the family. It doesn't. What did you do after it happened? Is it really 25 years for murder? Whoa, murder. Nobody mentioned that. So you did mean to kill him. What? You said it was an accident. It was. You murdered them, didn't you? No. You murdered them, and you passed it off thinking you could make it look like it was their fault. That's not what happened. So it was your fault. No, no he, he wasn't looking where he was going. Oh, and, and, and you were, I suppose. I, d I, I don't know. Yes? You'd had one too many at the White Lion. You thought it was quiet, you thought it was fine. You were in an old car and we all know you can't kill anyone in an old car anyway, can you? Stop it. Or so you thought. Stop it! Or what? You'll kill me too, because that really would be something. I, I can't go to prison. I, d I didn't even mean to. I'm, I'm, I'm not a criminal. It's not a bet if you're a good person deep down. It's what you do that makes a man. I wish I could go back and change it. Well, you can't. This isn't the afterlife where you can wake up as a different person or a short film where everything will work out right in the end. This is real life now. The good guys can die and the bad guys can get away with it. And there are consequences to everything you do. What, what, what do I do then? You know, James, there are times in our life when we have to choose between what's easy and what's right. Is that Freud? Oh, it's, it's Dumbledore, actually. So you're saying I'm a bad guy? That it, it doesn't matter who I am, I did a bad thing and that makes me a bad person? That all depends what you do. I mean, you can run away, you can hide. Nobody saw you do it. There's no one around. There's no evidence that it was even you. It was dark, no traffic. You could go down for a long time for this. And all because of one bad night. Yeah. Yeah, OK. You're right. But what about their friends, James? What about their family? Just think if that was one of yours and someone had left them. How would you feel? All right, I, I know what you're doing. I'm trying to make you see reality here, because right now, you seem out of it. You, you can stop. I, I get it now. I don't think you do. I'm here, and I should accept that. Not yet, you're not. Y you've lost me. James. How did I know about Helen? You've got no criminal record. How have I got folders on you? What? How can you even be here if there's no evidence? I, d I don't understand. 
You've not even mentioned the fact that I look exactly like you. Where am I? What did you do after it happened? 